All right, drop it. Wow. Okay, that's pretty cool. Look at that. Now, granted, I was primed and ready on the pack button, but still. So the new season is about farming? Yes, absolutely indeed. <laughs> Basically, Chris and Brian. Oof, I forgot that Wednesday was a different time for the stream. Yeah, dude, it's the late stream. Come on, and... There we go. Also got a different strap. Do you see that? It is, yeah. It's a different strap. Um, but I think it only takes up one unit of cargo. So uh, with that, I mean, how many do we need to pick up? Six? Oh, I can do them all yep. on one trailer. Oh, this is perfect. Um, you know what this would have been? Oh, what's up, Corey? Um, and you know what this, this is going to end up being perfect for? I could totally see... Um, them adding a update to highway hauling where you actually legit like haul hay. Oh yeah. Cause this is probably one of the coolest cargo options like that I've seen in the whole game, like ever. Oh yeah. Reminds me of that uh, Ram that I think it was Terminator made back in Mudrunner. Yeah, it had a custom cargo for hay. Oh yeah. Uh, right, where are the next ones? Oh, there's one back over here. In like I love how picking these up, there's still icons showing that they need to be picked up. Oh no, really? Yep. Uh not actually on my screen. Like all the ones that are packed on my trailer are disappeared. Like disappeared from the map anyway. Gotcha. Uh, are you making your own Forest Service road? <laughs> yep, just did. Man, you... Wow! Wow! I have an actual... I just drove through there and high like it was a road. Oh my <laughs> god! Bro, what? Oh, wow. Okay. Are you, uh... Okay, I was gonna say. Let me move a little bit further forward so it's easier for you to place that on the trailer. But my god, this is so cool! The semi is making buzzing sounds. No, that's just the Jake break. Yeah, that's, that's, don't worry about that. that. That's just the Jake break. It's all good. It's fine. Yep, custom sounded. Or custom sound added for that, by the and... way. And... Ready? Oh, packed? Uh, yep. you're like, whoa, your physics were like on the verge of like kablooing. Um, let's hmm. see. Two more, and then we got to go to the hay barn. Yeah, so we got to go back to... There's one back over there. I'm going to go back through the Forest Service road that you created. Well, hold on. I'm actually going to make a new one. Well, let me use this one first. <laughs> <laughs> yes. God, the fact that you literally just blew a path through here. Can I knock that over? Holy! We just took out, like, four trees in the span of a second and a half. Ow. My See, there's that God, one... Bud. There's that one really tall one. I will come back with my next truck, and I will waste that tree. Okay, so here's the thing. I just completely mowed over a tree with the dually square body, which is not something I'm used to doing. That that makes me wonder if they actually did reduce the strength of the trees. Yeah, exactly, Chris or Brian. Let's see. TC, you should, uh, you should make SR World where you can only use trucks with DLC pit jobs. What? Well, that sounds odd. Wilton, what's up? All right, let's see. Let's see Diesel get that get that bail on. And oh god. Oh come on, no. There Boom. we go. All right, now one more, and then we got to deliver it to the barn, and then that's gonna be our hay delivery, good to go. All right, let's see if I can take this tree out. High range. Well, bam. Oh, oh my god. Bro, that's that's not normal for this thing to be able to take trees out that easily. What about this one? Yoink! Oh nope, definitely not that one. Tried to yoink it, but I got yoinked in the process. All right, uh, let me let me position my trailer so the back of it is near where that bale is, and then we'll be we'll be all right from there, I think. All right. Yeah, that should be more simple. So, let me know when. I just realized that's a really precarious spot. We're good. Never mind. Don't worry about it. <laughs> All right. 
now, let's see. I'm gonna head for the hay barn. And you know what? I'm just gonna use the road because I feel like... Well, actually, no. You know what? I'm gonna... I'm gonna not use the road. I'm gonna be dumb. Because that sounds like fun. Uh. Come on. Let me knock over some fences on my way there. Oh, this wasn't actually as bad as I thought. Yeah, this wasn't actually anywhere near as bad as I thought. I just blew straight through here. It's fine. Let's see. Easy. Ooh. Oh, my God. Did you... that work? I mean, you almost flipped me over if that's what you were trying <laughs> to do. I mean, I was trying to give you a speed boost. Uh, the speed boost you gave. Hold on. Where is the... Oh, I see. Okay, that makes sense. I was like, where the heck do I oh, go? Great. Oh, no. Do not. That's an immovable fence and a prop tractor in the way. Yike. How did you get stuck and I didn't? That's not like... That's not like I mean, you. I mean, I went left, you went right, so... Oh, true. Uh, someone said, I wish they had classic tractors. And to be honest, I do feel like the K700 is kind of a classic tractor at this point because they've been making that thing for... Who knows how many years? That's a light bulb. Yeah, bud? Did you, uh... Did you, uh, you take a poll and find a very solid result? <laughs> True. It was electrifying, too. Oof. Alright, Skyfall. We'll see you when we get back. Old blue tractor from Mudrunner. Dang, I remember that thing. That thing was... I hated that thing. Bro, it was so <laughs> slow. I mean, I don't doubt that Diesel hated it. Diesel probably despised it. Yeah, it was it was not fun. All right, about to get to the hay barn and drop these things off. Oh God! Who needs a fence? Big and apparently, who needs a trailer? Boys. What do you mean, who needs a trailer? Did, did something happen? Let's see. Yeah, every time I hit something really hard, the trailer detaches. Oh, okay. Um, what's up, Zach Hammond? I see you out there in the chat. Brian Turner, welcome back. Two, what? Three? Wait, hold on. One, two, three. Four, five, six. You have to do them, like, really slowly. Great job. If it weren't for you, we'd be out some good amount of hay. Take this. $3,400. Um, I am very Swiss cheesed right now, but that's all right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to the garage and grab our tractors, and then we're going to head out to the Institute. All right. So let's see if we can blaze a, blaze a path back to the garage, back to the garage. And here's the thing, I don't really care what level of damage I pick up on the way there, so... There's the garage. Um, Actually, time follow for me. Sandies. Yeah, follow, follow oh. me. Oh my god! Did you see what I just did? I took I out- I saw the after effects, I saw a hay bale go flying. I took out hay bales, an outhouse, a fence, and three different trees all at the same time. Holy moly, bro. What? All right, you go that way. I'm going to follow the train tracks and then cut to the right. Yeah, I was going to... That's actually the way I'm trying to go. Oh, okay. Like, I'm already on the train tracks. So, I think we're... Do you hear my train horn from back there? I hurt. Yeah, I can. I am also managed to wedge Excalibur. Wait a minute. It's fitting because choo-choo mode engaged... Oh god, oh god, oh! Ooh, I just got so close to going full oof there. <laughs> Alright, hold up. No more oofs, please. Between here and the garage, I'd like to not get oofed. Come on, there she goes. <laughs> Almost there. I've barely lifted off the throttle this whole time. I've been literally in high almost the whole drive. Take out that tree. Take out... Well, Let's I was going to take out another tree, but don't worry about it. I didn't end up making it to that tree, but that's fine. All right. Now, let's make our way into the garage area. Oh, dude. Nah, it's good. It's A-OK. -okay. All right. That's... That's beautiful. That's perfect. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> what? Let's see. Oh, Should be Lionel, able to up, jump dude? into it now. Oh, did you... Uh, my ramps are back up. 
Yeah, I was trying to troll you and it kind of backfired. Oh, you put them. Okay, all right. I I didn't know. I didn't. I I thought like the game was starting to lag and freak out. This seems like a very dramatic sunset, especially more dramatic than we've seen in the past. Dang, that's wild. Okay, so. Holy cow! Jack wasn't kidding. These maps are enormous. Yeah, no, they're they're huge. Well, that was the biggest thing that they uh, that they were talking about in the release, uh, or one of the things that they said was, um, they said we heard you in the community when you said our previous phases did not have big enough maps. Therefore, we present the phase eight maps. And I didn't know what to think about that until jumping in here, but it seems like they held pretty true to that statement. Oh, boy. So I have no idea where I'm going. I'm just going to follow you. Yeah, I have no idea where I'm going as well. I know there's a uh, there's a watchtower down here, but I'm hoping that we can find either some tasks or secrets if we go down this way. Oh, I forgot that when you jump between worlds, your all-wheel drive turns off. <laughs> no, oh, Mine stop. was actually off, and I didn't notice until you said it. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, it's only because, like, yours, you could drive for a pretty dang good ways with all-wheel drive off, and it probably still wouldn't bother your truck. Honestly, I'm trying it now just for the heck of it. And uh, that was rear wheel drive through that mud section there. Uh -huh. There are houses here or buildings with their roofs gone completely and trees growing through them. Interesting. By the way, Diesel, this isn't a race. This is, it, it's lacking a description, but it says dangerous delivery. And it's actually, you have a maximum of 25 damage points allowed and you have to do it in three minutes and 45 seconds or less. Yeah, I feel like that's cheating. 